Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting motion graphics tutorial with UX Mate. Today we are going to look how to create a pop message effect or you know a chat effect in the after effects right. So let's get into the tutorial and get started with it. Well before getting started make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it. If not then you are definitely going to miss a lot of exciting content ahead. So yes guys. Uh, I have I have a footage here which I'll be uh, you know creating a new comp out of it. By the way, uh, this this footage is from one of our uh, upcoming short film, you know, and uh, yeah, it was it was a very very good project. Uh, we we have wrapped up the shoot for this, and definitely will be you know uh, we are currently working on the post production, and once it is done, we'll be uh, <laughs> I'll be I'll be sharing the links with you guys definitely. Yep. Uh, so yes, I have uh, uh, I have created a composition out of my uh, footage. But if you see, you know, this footage has a lot of camera shake because you know the shots were handled. Uh, first, I would like to stabilize it. Okay, so uh, how can we do that? Uh, let me create one more comp. Okay, and I'll say main comp, and uh, I'll create a 920 by 1080p. Okay. And then uh, I'll just rename this and I'll say stabilize. Okay, I'll uh, bring the stabilize comp into the main comp. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll be going to the stabilize comp. I'll be selecting my uh, my footage and I'll be going to the uh, right hand side where I can find the tracker window. So if you know tracker is not open in your case, uh, guys, uh, you can go to the Windows menu and then you know. Uh, enable tracker from it so you, your tracker window will be visible right so uh, now what we'll be doing will be you know uh, we'll be having an option like stabilize motion which is you know uh, built in uh, from the after effect itself first we need to find you know a good tracking point so let's just you know scroll through the entire footage and you know uh, find the uh, a good contrast point and what i'm seeing is you know uh, i feel this this uh, socket hole kind of is in a uh, a good contrasting thing like we have a dark uh, or you know a black dot on a white surface so that would be a good tracking point right as we want to you know track uh, based on the position only so we can have like we can go ahead with a single tracking point we don't need multiple trackers right so uh, i'll be moving this tracker uh, somewhere around this socket let's like zoom in and just adjust it uh, we can scale up the tracking window a little bit but yes i think that should be fine uh, let's analyze it and make sure you know we are following the the tracker right yes it is doing a good job as of now our track point is not kind of distracted i'll do a backward analy uh, analyze as well just to make sure we are you know doing a, a good track it looks pretty good as of now. Great, uh, our our analyze is done. Now we're going to apply this, right? So uh, I have selected my footage and as a target, right? You can go ahead and edit it. You can do it uh, to a solid or anything. But yes, we want to stabilize our footage. So I'll, I have selected the target as you know uh, my my footage input footage, and I'll say apply, right? Uh, it would ask me do you want to uh, do it for the x y and uh, do you want to like do it for the z or for any single dimension but yes we want to do it for x and y let's hit ok now uh, you can see you know our uh, motion tracker is applied here and it has created a couple of keyframes not couple of but a lot of keyframes to stabilize the footage right and now if you see our footage is kind of you know pinned to that particular tracker point now uh, if you see you know our footage is kind of uh, moving up and down but yeah that's why we have created our main comp and then we have a stabilized comp right so uh, what we'll be doing we'll be scaling it up uh, somewhere around you know 120 maybe uh, or you know uh, 110 it depends you know uh, how much shake you have but let's let's now see this uh, oops okay uh, it looks good to me guys uh, now you know footage is kind of much stable uh, we we can do it with the you know shaky footage as well the same way uh, doesn't matter but uh, I anyway is going to use this shot for my uh, short film so I thought let's do the stabilization as well yeah uh, so yes uh, we are good with the stabilization now uh, we'll be creating you know our messages pop up right 
uh, well before that make sure guys you have subscribed to the channel it it helps us a lot uh, let me create a new composition and uh, we can say chat message okay uh, i can create it somewhere around 800 pixels width and maybe 200 pixel height okay uh, because we want a shorter uh, uh, kind of thing right now let's create a, a rounded rectangle okay so our, uh, input box is done now what we are going to do we are going to create you know a, a circle or an you know, ellipse where we'll be having the profile icon oops i need to create it on a separate layer oh strong yes sorry my caps lock was on but yes it is now sorted uh you can scale it a little down and then you can align them uh, align 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 yes i'll align it to the middle right great uh, so our basic setup is done right uh, we can do more fancy we can have gradient ramps and you know the color changes and all those things but it looks good to me uh, what we can do is we can have you know maybe a, a, a small triangular shape uh, which will be kind of you know pointing towards the message yes uh, yes it has created on a separate layer so we can you know select the shape layer we can go to the contents we can select the shape and we can copy it from here and we can you know select our primary shape uh, same way go to the contents and paste it so it will create the path within the uh, another shape layer right i can get rid of this shape layer now so i have this path here uh, and I need to add a fill to it okay add a fill right now uh, the fill is added <coughs> right so uh, now my you know entire message box is kind of ready we can definitely bring this in from the uh, illustrator or you know uh, any other design tool we can bring in the SVGs as well like we can simply import the SVGs so uh, it looks good to me uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to do some uh, some some fancy animation not fancy but some small animation guys so let's select the profile icon first and let's hit the scale create a keyframe move it a little bit forward do it with the zero so we'll be having a scale up animation and i need to change the the anchor point the short key guys is y so you can hit y and then you know uh, it changes to the pan uh, behind tool so like you can you know come from here as well pan behind or you can simply uh, hit y and uh, you can you know, switch uh, between the tools so you have to hit y to uh, you know move your anchor point and then you have to hit v to complete your action right so uh, you can you know do that um, thing so now if we check our animation is kind of you know on the same position with the center line now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to make them easy uh, keyframes i can go to the animation curve uh, make sure i'm on the speed graph and then i can you know tweak the speed graph a little bit okay looks good a little bit adjustments here and there but yeah uh let's do some exaggeration or you know kind of thing uh, or you know a bouncy effect let's just scale up uh, a little bit yes so now you can see you know it, it comes bounces and you know settles so let me just increase the duration of the animation yeah uh, just to make it a little smoother yes it feels good uh, but scale is a little bit high so let me just bring it a little down uh, guys this depends upon you you can you know do uh, like complete fancy stuff you can have the uh, outlines near this or you can have you know multiple uh, elements which create this animation so i'm just creating a simple you know uh, uh, a simple thing which would be kind of you know helpful here now uh, let's move a couple of frame here and uh, let's select the or you know we can select and copy those keyframes select the second shape layer and paste sorry uh, select the scale and paste them here now we can you know replicate the same effect to the uh, our second rectangle as well now same thing the uh, second rectangle hit y pan behind tool move the anchor point to the arrow you know uh, bottom left corner so which you know basically will give us an effect that okay it is popping in from the left hand side now let me just zoom it out a little bit and take a look at the entire composition 
okay looks good but i think timing has to be a little bit adjusted let's see now okay great so our you know uh, simple message animation is done now uh, what we'll be doing let's select this just make it a little bit fancy i'll be you know having a gradient ramp i can adjust the points of the gradient one is on the left another one is on the right okay so i have a linear smooth gradient i can change the colors probably uh, let's go a little bit you know darker in the blue kind of thing yes and for other color some shade of blue but a little bit lighter one so you know we have a nice looking gradient okay looks good to me we can adjust the opacity as well hit t to adjust the opacity and we can make it somewhere around 80% right so it will be a little transparent and our footage will be visible behind this right uh now last thing we need to create a text here right so uh let's just okay looks good let's let me create a text here hello okay so our text is also ready now uh, what we can do is guys we can have you know uh, a typing effect to the text let's let's move it somewhere here where you know our uh, message box is completely up at uh, then go to the animation like effects and presets animation presets and then uh, you can go under text right or you can simply start typing here you know typewriter so you can see we have an animated typewriter preset created by the after effect it's just, just drag and drop it on your text layer and now you can see you know uh, hit the u button on the uh, on the text layer you can see the keyframes for it okay these are too far and it is uh, you know very slow typing effect we can change that we can you know move it a little bit closer and then you know it would be a fast typing kind of effect right okay so it looks good as of now uh, i want to be much fancy with this uh, let's go to our main comp and now you know bring in our chat comp here let's see how it looks okay it looks good i want you know uh, simply to place it somewhere near the phone but now if you see guys uh, our chat box is there uh, but it is not moving with the phone or you know the hand uh, of the actor so what we have to do is basically we need to do a track again and move it accordingly right uh, what i can do is i can you know scale it down a little bit uh, maybe somewhere around 80% or or 70% okay looks good to me uh, because we need you know a couple of message piling up here uh, so let's have this here by the way to do the you know uh, other chat box is we just need to you know uh, change the position and the alignment of the text so my you know profile icon would be on the right hand side and it would be a flipped kind of thing and the text would be aligned from the right hand side okay i'll not go into much details because that is pretty simple uh, let's select the footage or you know like let's first create a uh, what we say a null okay null object and we'll call it tracker oops sorry tracker right uh, my tracker is here i'll select my footage and i'll you know uh, zoom in a little bit uh, and i feel you know this shiny spot of the uh, uh, of the you know camera ring uh, it seems to be you know a good contrast point uh, to do the tracking let's go to the tracker back and let's uh, this time we'll be doing track motion not the camera because we are not tracking the camera we are tracking the motion of the phone and we have stabilized the camera right uh, when do we need a camera tracker like let's say if you want to integrate a 3d uh, element in the camera or in the you know live action footage we use generally camera tracking where we are you know pan or uh, uh, zoom in zoom out kind of shots uh, or you know uh, if there is any camera movement then we track the camera if we have you know uh, any any object moving uh, within the frame like the camera is still then we do track motion so this time let's do a track motion and as i said uh, you know this point looks good to me uh, definitely based on your footage you can determine you know what could be a best best uh, you know choice for you so i'm at last frame i'll do a reverse tracking okay it looks good at this point of time it is moving along with the hand and you know the phone <laughs> yes 
also you know i feel uh, i i was feeling you know there could be a small spot on the uh, top of the you know uh, top edge of the phone but uh, if we you know go to the first frame uh, there is a huge sign so we cannot use that uh, but yes we may probably use you know uh, something uh, around his hand like something around fingers or you know this spot here as well which is kind of a good you know dark spot but yeah uh, i fa- i found you know this is much convenient so yes i'm uh, i have tracked it it looks good now what we have to do is you know uh, we have to edit the target uh, it has already selected the you know uh, layer from the tra- like the track kernel object just make sure you know you are doing the same way and then hit apply okay uh, same way yes so now our you know all position uh, keyframes has been transferred to the tracker and now if you see you know uh, keyframes like the position has been you know uh, animated uh, based upon the tracking data so let's select the select the chat message right and then uh, let's just you know uh, do a parenting or you know parent relationship with the tracker so now if you see you know uh, when the phone is moving my uh, you know the the chat is also moving up right so uh, to do you know the further animations let's say you know let's say if you want to slide it slide it in up and uh, what we can do is let's say you know just type in uh let's select the chat message hit the position give it a keyframe and just you know move it a little up because you know uh the you know there are two movements one is the individual movement of the element which is you know uh, handled by the position keyframe on the chat message comp itself and the entire movement which is you know handled by the tracker comp so we are handling two movements you know on the same time so our message is sticking to the phone as well as you know we have the control or we have the freedom to you know do these further animations with that let's say you no know, uh, let's 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 make it easy is in okay uh by the way you can hit f9 key on the keyboard which you know converts the keyframes to the easy is in uh, let's go to the graph editor same way let's go to the speed graph and just adjust the speed graph a little bit so you know a smooth animation right maybe a little more exaggerated okay okay looks good now uh, what we can do is you know basically uh, let me go back to the you can hide your tracker you can do all those things but it uh, doesn't matter uh, anyways it is not going to be rendered but yeah uh, let me just you know duplicate this and uh, let's say you know if you want it somewhere somewhere you know here right and we don't need this this animation here because uh, let's just you know move it a little down definitely you know uh, we need to flip it uh, but uh, just to you know show you i'll just do a simple rotation here you know it would be something like this i'm oh, sorry yep something like this so you know uh, other messages are coming in from the right hand side we can do the minor alignments right so with this you know guys uh, we can achieve the cool you know uh, let me just play it yep so we can achieve this you know cool um, pop up chat effect in the after effects yes so i hope guys you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure subscribe to the channel hit the like button hit the bell icon and don't forget to add your comments into the comment section below i will be definitely waiting to uh, uh, hear you from you know what what you want to learn further in the after effects or in the figma or with the ux ui uh, you know spectrum so let me know whatever you want to learn definitely we'll try our best to create tutorials on it and yes stay tuned keep watching keep liking keep designing be creative